Say bro, welcome back to Sip the Tally Films, and I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're gonna talk about the little sack party that we had over in London. But before we can get to that sack party, I want to take the time out to thank all the Patreons who made this video possible. You can see the name scrolling up and down right here. These people, by joining the Patreon, make these videos possible. So I want to say thank you to everybody whose name is scrolling right here that make these videos possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And for anybody name who wants to join the Patreon, please do so by going to patreon.com backslash sip the tally and join it. Four different tiers, join any level, different perks for different levels. Thank you in advance. Let's get to the film. First one here is PQ. And, you know, this normal stunt that PQ runs, he run normally is the pit guy. But in this case, he ran the pit, but he ended up being the free guy. And you'll see it right here. He's normally setting the pick, and Matter BK would be the role guy and would be free. But in this case, when he set the pick, he realized that, oh, man, I got a free run to the QB. Watch. He, you see him setting the pick, and Matter BK is normally coming off his butt, or somebody else is normally coming off his butt with a free run to the quarterback. But when he got through there, look, he is, I, is a free go to the to Tannehill. So he just went and got the quarterback. They actually picked up Matter BK. PQ is free, and he just attacked the quarterback. So he ended up with a sack. And, and that happens from time to time, especially when they know that you normally run that stunt, and they got enough depth where they picked up the, the roller. And he came off the, he was the bang guy, and the bang guy just ended up being free. And so that's how PK in, PQ ended up getting the first sack of the day. He started the party, so to speak. Let's go to play sack number two. This one is on Matter BK, coming off the edge. Got Matter BK playing a little in, which is something different Mike McDonald has done this year. Sometimes they, they slide um, Clowney inside. And run Matter BK off the end. And this time they got Van Noy on inside. And, th and on this play right here, you got two different things going on. Inside, you got Van Noy running the stunt with Travis Jones in the middle to try to, to try to complicate it with the center and guard. And you got Matter BK winning outside. And really, Van Noy wins too. Matter BK just happens to get there, you know, winning off the end with, uh, versus Dillard. I think that's what it is. Because the stunt wins too. Because look at Van Noy coming clean through the middle. See, Van Noy wins in the middle. But look at Matter BK just pressing Dillard. Just straight back to Tannehill. Just straight back to him. And really, they kind of get there at the same time. But Matter BK just wins just a half a second faster than Van Noy. Just a half a second faster than Van Noy. You see it even better from this view. Through Travis. Travis takes both of them. And Vanoy is clean. Vanoy is clean. But go back to Matabike. No real move. Just straight walks Dillard back to Tannehill. So that's sack number two. Let's go to sack number three. Which is Clowning. You can't put out almost next to Clowning this week. He got him. But really on this one, Van Noy is the one that really sets it up. Van Noy wins again on that right side. And Clown but Clowney is the beneficiary of it. Look at Van Noy on the left side of your screen here. Watch, watch him win versus 78. Oh, that little dip move right there. He's gonna rip right under it. Watch this little dip. Huh? The little jab step outside, he oversets. Petit Farid oversets. And he dips right up under it, gets that shoulder. Now, he's one right now. All Petit Farid can do is hold. He gets skinny. Watch him turn that shoulder and get skinny. Get skinny, splits the double. And forces Malik Willis to step up. And he steps up right to Jadavion Clowney, who gets the sack. And, I mean, I know that it sucks that that Van Oort don't get any kind of stat for this, but he really is the one that 
should get this sack. He don't, but it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. But it's a great job by Kyle Van Noah and a good job of Jadavion Counter just st sticking to it. He gets the, the, the stat in the book, but good team defense. Good team defense. Sack number four, Matabika again. And this, this right here is Matt BK just staying to it and just winning this one-on-one -on -one battle. I, I really think Clowney got held on this. Clowney does too because you see him, you know, say something to the ref. But watch, just watch Matt BK just, just win his one-on-one -on -one battle with the guard. First move don't work. Now he start working the outside move. And when Malik steps left for leverage, he's right where he needs to be. He's right where he needs to be. And you see the guard let him go because... At that point, let me back it up a little bit. At this point right here, when Malik steps left, the leverage that Matt BK has, the, if the guard just grabs him, it's holding. And so it's a lose-lose situation. It's a lose-lose. You see the guard with his hands up like, I didn't do it because, I mean, because Malik stepped that way, Matt BK had the proper leverage. And so at this point, you got to let him go and just hope your quarterback can outrun him. And Matabike is pretty darn quick. Pretty darn quick. And yes, Petit Farid is holding Clowney. So again, Matabike is getting, and I talked about this last year. Last year, the more reps Matabike got, the better he played. But he couldn't get the amount of reps I felt like he should have because we still had Calais and other guys were healthy. But now he's getting those reps. Now he's getting those reps. And he's starting to produce with those reps. Hopefully he can keep this up. Hopefully. Hopefully. And this is just an effort sack. There is no like this awesome move that he put on. It's just an effort sack. A want to sack. A stick to it. A stick to it. A stick to it this sack. Sorry, I had to slow it down there so I can get the word out. Sack number five. Going back to Van Noy, who's had a killer game so far. A killer game. Look at that spin move. Look at that spin move. And stayed, stayed in his rush lane. Even though he kind of uh, had to slip and slide a little bit. He stayed in his rush lane. Watch. Going to take the step inside. He's going to set him up with the spin move. Watch. Jab step inside. Spin back out. Now, it didn't work completely, but I stayed in my lane. He ain't go too far past the QB because if he would have, he would not have been able to get back in the play right there. Let me pause it right there. So what I said about the rush lane. So see how far Clowney is behind Malik Willis? Say if Van Noah had been that far, Malik Willis would have got out. Where my arrow at? Malik Willis would have been able to get out and do something. Malik Willis would have been able to get out and do something outside the pocket. But because Van Noah... Stayed in his rush lane and didn't rush too far past the quarterback. If Van Noy is back here where Clowney is, Malik Willis doing something, you know, and the only person that has a chance to get him is Roe. But because he hit on he hit the brakes and stayed tight, stayed tight, he's able to get back in there and get that sack. Which is a good thing. A real good thing. He stayed in his rush lane. He ain't rushed too far past the past the quarterback. Which is what a lot of young cats don't do they they'll go past it and they realize they can't get the sack they'll just run on by they'll just run on by and the quarterback will step up and then he'll go in here and do some stuff and maybe even during school stay disciplined that's what vets do crafty veterans do that he didn't win initially he had a great great spin move didn't win initially stayed tight stayed tight to the rush and when the quarterback stepped up he was able to get back in there and get a sack next play clowny again Able to split this guy. Able to get inside of him and keep hand fighting, keep hand fighting, keep hand fighting, get to the quarterback. Watch him here. I'm going to take the inside move. I'm going to take an initial step outside because the tight end is going to arc release. No, tight end didn't arc release. The tight end released inside. I was wrong. The tight end released inside. And so the, the Petit Farid tried to quit. I'm probably saying this wrong. his name wrong. Petit Ferret or Petit Farid, one of the two. 
tried to quick set him. And in the process of him quick setting, Clowney stepped inside of him. Quick, quick, quick. Stab inside. And he got inside of him. Because the tight end, I mean not tight end, the tackle tried to hurry him quick. Because he knew he had that tight end out there. And so with that tight end out there, he knew Clowney got wider. So the tackle's trying to get wide to get in front of Clowney. Clowney used that to his advantage. While he's really quick setting to get out there, Clowney took this one last jab and got underneath him. Bam, right there. Use that hand to get underneath him. Now he's inside of him. And especially with the guard having to deal with somebody else one-on-one, it's basically a two-on-one now because look how far out of the way 70 to 80 is. Clowney went, won his one-on-one. He won his one-on-one. And what really helped him was that tight end releasing inside. See right here? This tight end, with the tight end releasing straight up, that helped Clowney. Because now, this tackle knows I got a quick, 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 quick. So, town, Towny, Clowney used that to his advantage. Instead of just trying to beat him on the edge, he started off that way. And then jabbed him inside real quick. Because he knew the tackle was going to try to come out there real fast. Now, let me take all this off the screen. Had the had the tight end tried to arc. And Petit would have quick set. That would have made Clowney widen out a little bit. And that would have kept, kept Petit Farid in front of him. That would have helped him out. But the tight end going straight up the field helped Clowney's plan. It helped County's plan to a T. All right. And let's let it run. Let's let it run. Let me get this out your way and let it run. Good good with his hands, too. Good with his hands. Clowney's been playing some good ball now. Clowney, along with Van Noy, they've been playing some good ball. And Malik, beginning of this game, too. You don't see Malik in this game, but Malik did a good job of setting the edge. Malik and Malik always plays well versus the Titans. I'm talking about Malik Harrison. Malik always plays well versus the um the Titans. That play shouldn't have been on there. Sorry. And this is the last one. This is Van Noah again at the top. Spin move again. Hmm. Hmm. He does a good job of stepping with one foot and spinning back the other way. It's slow, but it's effective because he plays with pace. He does it with pace. Watch it. Quick set. Mm. Same thing Clowney just did. But whereas Clowney, whereas Clowney just stepped inside with like almost like a crossover, Van Noy does it with the spin move. 78 is trying to quick set and get out there because of that tight end. And they may have even talked about this like between snaps. Because it's the same drive. They may have talked about this like between step, between snaps. Van Noy just does it with the spin move. Take that step outside. And when 78 tries to get out there, he takes that one last step, slaps that hand down, and spins back inside on it. And uses that leverage against him. Use that look at him. Look at how he bent over. Look how 7-8's bent over, almost to the fact where he's almost twerking. He's almost twerking. And at this point, he's dead in the water now. Van Oye just got to finish. Van Oye just got to finish, and he does. All he got to do is finish, and he does. All right, bro. So I just want to appreciate everybody for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And again, I want to thank everybody for coming through. Uh, again, the, the Patreons, I want to salute you guys for being Patreons and, you know, scroll your name up and down so everybody can see who you are. You are you're the guys that make this channel possible. And I hope that more want to be like you guys and join the patreon you know how to do that it's scrolling across the bottom of the screen so this is what i got for you guys on this tuesday and i'll see you guys soon like comment subscribe share and peace